What's up guys? Thanks a lot for the visit. You are highly welcome. Yeah, this is IK.com. There's one truth in all these things that they are saying. Okay, going back, going back, all these things still coming out. People still coming out to say what they said, what they think is true and what they said is the truth after the publication was made. I, I can remember that prior to that publication, people were castigating the publication. Why was the publication made? It was that publication that led to the meeting that was held in Lagos. And after that meeting, there was a kind of expose. A lot of people now knew what is going on. A lot of people now knew the true story of the matter. That at the moment, there's no money to disburse. But the money is there. But the full assurance, the assurance is that money will surely be disbursed. It's just a matter of time. That's all. The truth, you know, all these things they are saying, we don't know the, which one is the truth. But the truth be told that the money will be disbursed. But it, it makes some people to be saying that these are people that are Christ-like. These are not political people. These are people that people are expecting to kind of do the needful, help the masses that are dying. But on the contrary. So we are not trying to take side here, but we are trying to be truthful and stand inside of the truth. So listen to this voice note. Drop your comment in the description what you think is the truth. See you at the end of the video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Community or Grand Ecosystem. The voice you are hearing is the voice of Comrade Joe from the Niger Data. This morning, today being February 2024. This morning, I'm coming in a very calm way but with so much sense and reason what I'm about to say. I want to beg the masses because I am just for the masses and I am care. I care for the masses. I know so many masses that call me on a daily basis what they are going through as many that are dying, many that they are in the hospital even come on 10,000, they cannot even treat, they will discharge from the hospital to go and stay at home. The pain is too much and I can't just bear it. So I am being carried away several times because of the pain of the masses. You may think things are not okay with you but if you look around your environment there are thousands of people who even need the money more than you whom you are better than but having listened to the meeting of our grand pressure group yesterday and uh, the address of apostle ken to me it wasn't encouraging at all uh, please bear with me this voice note i don't know it may be lengthy it's not encouraging. It doesn't make sense. This is not what the grand ecosystem is expecting. This is not what the masses is expecting to hear from Apostle Ken. Can I say, by the reason of that voice note, that Apostle Ken doesn't feel what people are feeling? Or can I say, Pastor Ken, Apostle Ken has so much money as the masses have disbursed to him, so much billion in his account. He does feel the pain. If he likes the money come next year, Apostle Ken will still be surviving with the money we have donated to him. Uh, for this reason, I would like the grand ecosystem, the masses, come together and raise it together. Let's raise it. Even the Bible says, come and let's raise it together. Let's raise it together. Let God direct us what to do at this minute. Because uh, we are thinking that Apostle Kem is coming with good news. That means all this hope they have given since. Yama machine once told us that let's just come for one week. After 72 hours, this money will be disbursed. And the whole place come. And Apostle Ken is telling us yesterday that the paper was just signed yesterday. So all this why they are still quarreling over sharing formula. All this why the paper has not been signed. 
now they are putting on in on government cba which they themselves who they have been calling to come and sign paper since they are the one who delay paper to sign if truly they signed paper yesterday that means they spent time over sharing formula and they are just signing paper now uh, i would like to say indirectly i was like apostle can trying to debunk what the honorable chief the the most respected man presently in grand community the one that have feeling for the masses the one that loves justice the one that is truthful a man of honor double chief agbekoya of yoruba land whom we respect so much which whom his voice actually calm the grand community indirectly apostle ken have come to debunk it that we should not indirectly if you re read that voice note of apostle ken we should not be expecting on tuesday knowing fully well that the whole place will turn upside down after on tuesday how long will apostle ken continue on this thing how long does it mean that anything apostle ken put hand does it mean does not work well does it mean there is anything like cause associated to Apostle Ken's life? I am trying to raise it this way because of the past experience. I know Apostle Ken right from Tepicon, as the Vice President of Tepicon. In and the President, God give us hope over and over, over and over, over and over, over and over, and over telling us that they have 44 million Nigerians they want to disburse to. 24 million Nigeria they want to disburse to. And this happened 2020. And uh, 2021, I think around February, if I'm not mistaken, when, when the Ogra Pressure Group was initiated and Mr. Kisley happened to be the president of Ogra Pressure Group during the visit to Abuja with the ex coast of uh, Tepicon we find out from the mouth of the Kozontan, person of Isong, Professor Isong, that what they submitted is just 10 million, 10 million Nigerians, not 44 million. And every day they are announcing 44 million before the public. This set of people have nothing good to offer except lies. When it comes to their words, now, nah, this brings me back to the meeting of yesterday. If you watch the meeting of yesterday, the only man we get through from his mouth did not speak. That is a person of Ustad Dawu. The respected man in grand, in the all grand pressure group, the man we love so much, did not speak. For that man not to speak in the house, it show they have stopped him not to speak because they know that man cannot compromise. He will speak things as it is. He will say the things the way they are. It showed that there are so much things upside down, so much cover up. Apostle Ken is no longer person you can take in voice. No, can I? Should I begin to remind us each event Apostle Ken come to speak, and all of them is lies? Can I remind us the first time Apostle Ken speak in grand community? What I'm saying all this is for us. It's for the masses to think, reason now. Let us not to carry the way by poverty. Poverty, you see, is a mindset. Not the money we lack in our pocket. If you reason beyond the level of your pocket, you can talk like a rich man. Now, don't be scared. Poverty is just a mindset, a state of mind, a mentality. Apostle K is not the owner of money. We shouldn't abandon god who give the poor masses by the pity god have for poor masses and send money to masses and begin to run after the one that god decide to use as a matter of purpose of Ken is not even the choosing one as as claimed by some member of grand community apostle Ken is not an anointed one and ordained as claimed Apostle Ken, I remember during the petition when they are fighting with Jewish Alpha, you see all you food soldiers will say the God of Apostle Ken have, have, have defeated the Jewish God. You're talking about the God of the poor masses, the God of the widow Apostle Ken have collected money from and died. You're talking about the God of the orphan, not the God of Apostle Ken. A man that is lying 24 hours, you think God has business with lies? The first time Apostle Ken ever speak in under UAAG. Before I go there, in Tepicon, 
after we know all that before then in 2020 apostle ken and a low mama give us so much hope that the money some of us will use it to celebrate christmas the money is ah the money is coming we will use even on christmas they will be receiving a lot on washington they will be receiving a lot I was 2020 December 24th. December 24th, I was in the I was in the bank when I heard a voice around 7 a.m. The voice of the president, hello, mom. I was saying at this time his voice was not sharp as before. Good morning. This is your president, hello, mama, the president of 44 million Nigeria on that topic. Uh, I'm telling you that we are working. At this time, the voice of no place, ladies and gentlemen, please. This is the voice of our mama. And uh, please uh, don't worry, there are many Christmas, even though you did not use the money to celebrate this Christmas. There are so many. This is the voice we heard 24th December 2020. Uh, 2020. After all that, the old grand committee silent. People are broken emotionally. Some died in the process. They will keep calm. On the 30th, that is January. January 2021. January 2021. On the first of January 2021, I received the voice note of Apostle Ken, this same Apostle Ken, the vice president of Etepicon. Around 10 p.m. in the night, he's saying that I am the vice, I am the Apostle Ken. One Kama, the vice president of Tepicon. There is nothing going on in Tepicon. Let me quote him as he said it. Nothing going on in Tepicon that I don't know. Nothing take me on our way. Everything is truly set. We are ready. But the CBN said, this festive period, they can't disburse such volume of money. So let us just give them, let's pass this, uh, uh, this festive period. After now, the money will come everybody what shall we do rely on that voice of alum of of uh, apostle ken after after we come after a festive period have come and gone apostle ken remains silent we'll never hear him again so now take me take us back to uaag the first time he ever spoke and introduced himself as a country director of UAG, he said, everything is now good. Everything is okay now. You know that hope? Everybody was so happy. Everybody was so happy. But when the thing becomes so delayed, people were scared. He came up again and he released another voice to say, your fear will not be realistic. Your fear will not be realistic. In other words, your fear will not come to pass. He always has strategic ways, some lies, calculated lie to deceive the masses. When the masses, and this time I'm telling you, money is going on. At a time he came that all oh, should bring 10,000, 10, that the hub is going down. More the hub is going down, more the delay to the disbursement. Ah, everybody rush. Even that 10,000, some NGOs called some of their bundle air to support. One, 1,000, they still give. And at the end of the day, I am not an angel anyway. And then, at the end of the day, they're giving the money. We are waiting. You are waiting. The thing is delayed. He start using, come using a uh, Ugwagashuku uh, revenue Ugwagashuku to collect. He stole so much money from the grand community. And after some time, we are waiting. Apostle Ken came up again. He said, "Disbursement is imminent," and that is when he asked for another money. And people start paying the money. Say disbursement is imminent. We waited, waited, waited. Imminent. We don't understand what imminent. So it seems all of us did not understand what imminent mean. Imminent is supposed to be something that is happening now, very close. But till today, we didn't hear. Well, we are waiting. Everywhere is complaining. Where the place is getting hot. Apostle Ken came up, calculated again another lie, and he said. When he come with that voice note, say the music of your thanksgiving is a bat to be played. Everybody's religious is a thank God. The said man have said so. We waited and waited. There was no music, not to talk of dance. 
after that one has passed, the whole place is getting hot. Apostle Ken came on board again. There's going to be a meeting. At this time, I'm coming with the news that will gladden your heart. Do you know that that statement hit so many hearts from the mouth of the set man himself? I will waited, we waited. The meeting is supposed to be on Friday. We waited that on Friday. Rumors came that Apostle Ken had high blood pressure. You see, because the light is finished, he was rushed to the hospital according to what we heard. And uh, they should wait. The meeting is shifted to Sunday. They should pray and everybody pray so that we come and give us the news. All this thing I'm telling you, all this are last year, oh, not be this year. Oh. We came up again. That was Sunday. Apostle Ken that's supposed to give us news that will grad in our heart. He said, The yeah, tonight I'm not going to speak with the open speech because there are many enemies in that community. And he began to talk back and forth, talk back and forth, talk. At this time, he was not even talking with Matt. He was talking with knows Everybody so disappointed, this kind of person, the kind of person he is. Then we start waiting. Nothing good come out from that meeting. We waited, we waited, we waited, we waited until the interview again. And he said, November last year, there must be December. There must be disbursement. To the extent that he is second in command, the monkey hand was interviewed. Monkey hand say, Yes, you think that this will happen? I, I'm not thinking, I know so that November. A whole November pass if these people are good people. Anything you are sure of November, supposed to, if it pass, supposed to fall for December, they allow December come and they say december is sacrosanct even the monkey hand say be monkey face and not know he say december is 27 is sacrosanct when 27 reach the bunker mr debunker oc come came and debunk it why we are still waiting december they say is this i mean december he come when Apostle Ken came in December, he said, if one week will be added to December, this busment will take place. This is how, this is where we are. And now, he said, when January roll out, when the year roll out, the same man who told us that before the year runs out, there will be disbursement. He now changed my that when January roll out, you will not see that there is no single truth in the mouth of this man. I was expecting this meeting that he will, he will come this meeting. I was expecting this meeting uh, that Osta Dawu will speak to able to tell us the truth. But they silent him not to speak. And I know the man is not happy with the whole thing. That man, there is no meeting that that man doesn't speak. Now, looking at this old scenario, the mercy should wake up. Apostle Ken of Tepicon have not changed. He's still the Apostle Ken of UAAC. Apostle Ken doesn't feel what the masses feel. Apostle Ken have 1,100 1, lies in his mouth. Apostle Ken will always come and tell you what you want you to hear, not what we want to hear. So now, masses, I beg of you, let us raise it together. And let's know after or Tuesday. Because the only man we're listening to now is the high ship, the double ship Agbakoya of Yoruba land. If Apostle Ken know what he's good for there, they would have called that man and gave him the truth. Let that man speak the truth out because they will be finding it difficult to use that man's head. They will find it difficult because that man is influential. They will find it difficult to use that man anyhow. That man will react. So now they are trying to push that man aside trying to debunk what that man have told him in public and they are coming up with their own crafty way. These people know what they have to do. And uh, let's look at this point before I round up this voice note. I've been in grand community for a while, right from Sen, and there is something I observe. Apostle Ken is the most crafty grand handler among all the grand handlers so far all the grand handler from 
A to Z till date from the starting to date, which from Sam, the mother of Ogland in Nigeria. Till date, when they come, they spell it out. They spell it out. This is the money. This is what is going to NGO. This is going to go to director or cluster head, bundle head. This is what is going to sponsor. This is what is going to beneficiaries. Only Apostle Ken is the man who is ready to collect money without telling person what is going craftily. He came to announce that this grant is free of charge. He come back again to say they can only give support. And when you are giving support, make sure you send your proof of payment because we are going for record purpose. We are going to treat people according to your support. The people give support because of logistic and logistic money follow the ground and you are dragging logistic money. According to you, Apostle Ken, you are dragging logistic money. Up to date, are you telling me Apostle Ken don't know the amount that is coming? Apostle Ken said it the other day that if he said he didn't know the amount, he's a liar. If at all he claimed that the money has not come. As a matter of fact, who know if they have fixed the money? And because they have fixed the money, that is why they are bringing story to buy time. Because by our findings, this money have entered. Why are they dragging percentage when money have not entered? So let's leave that side first. Now, up to date, there was nothing like template. There was nothing like MOU. And you are believing that Apostle Ken with this board this February? I doubt. I doubt because as far as Apostle Ken is the one that speaks in this meeting, forget it. That man is a perpetual liar. And what pains me so much, what pains me so much, Chief Agbakoya is not a man of God, but he's a honorable double chief, but he's more honest, truthful than all the pastor in grand community. Ah, this is too bad. Men of God who suppose be people that are choosing by God to preach the gospel, they are so full of lies. And the Bible says, he that see white and he call it black is a sin. And whosoever that see black and call it white is also a sin. This is what the pastor in grand community have been doing. I come who say they are elder like Akinshola Josiah. Every time he will come, he will be supporting Apostle Ken. The one they call Apostle Ken Igolo, they will be supporting a liar. If all the pastor and God keep rebuking this massa, we love you, we pray for you, but we are disappointed in this attitude. If they are doing this, maybe probably they would have been the people correct Apostle Ken. But today, Apostle Ken don't even value any pastor because no all of them are compromiser except Chief Agbakoya. I want to say uh, at this junction that Apost uh, the minister, the pastor in Grand Community, they are all fearless by supporting the lying grant handler. Uh, the men who give us this grant from a foreign nation, they never fasted and prayed. They just give us. But we that want to receive the money, Akisha Lag Josiah came up the other day. He says he's an elder. I don't know him, but he says he's an elder. That uh, we should go and use salt to bar before we can receive this money. Those who give us money did not use salt to bath. So we that want to receive, we use salt to bath first. Would the salt we use to bath change Apostle Ken from the spirit of life from Tepico? You know that Apostle Ken brought somebody that duped the president, or Lou Mama, that Lou Mama revealed to us publicly that the voice note is still, is still dead in her. How he brought somebody to dupe him some money. This is say hello, Mama. Among all the escorts, the leaders of Tepicon, the only person who brought a man to dupe the president. Because it's not the president, he has to bring somebody to dupe the president. This is the man we are talking about here. See, what take people from the first post of duty? Always follow them to the next post of duty. Akishola Josiah, let me tell you. 
don't think it's the people because the people did not bath with salt. That is why. I don't know where you put getting all this mentality. Are you poor are men of God? Let me tell you something. In ministry, you must understand one thing. Like priest, like people. Like priest, like people. If the if the priest is right, the sin of the people cannot stop them. They are hiding under the grace of the Father, the grace of the priest. So the priest pronounce a word and they are blessed. The children that Moses lead, they are all not right. All the people of Israel may have not be perfect, but because Moses standing right with God, he stretched forth his hand, the sea divided, and he lead the people successfully. So like priest, like people. It's not even like let everybody you come to you sort of, but our strong apostle came is 50 with the spirit of lies. This is what we keep happening. Not the assault. You people should talk to that man. You people should not be pretending, trying to see the truth and hide it because of here. Yeah, they want to give people enough bundles. Ha! I pity this set of men, this generation of contractors or bundles. This set of men of God, I pity you. Ah, God, God love a true speak, the one that speak truth. A man called Funeya is not among, when you study the Bible, it's not among the Levites. But at a time when he see the corruption in the kingdom, he stood up with Javelin. He was spearing those who are defying the kingdom which the priest could not do. From that moment, Funeya was enlisted among the judge. And the next thing we heard that Funeya judged Israel during the time of judges in Israel from Deborah. Now, but as it is now, no man of God can even see the truth and say it. Rather, they are all compromised. I fact, he cover the glory has been departed. What are we talking about? To me, after our Tuesday, Apostle Ken knew that is why I come and talk all this nonsense yesterday. After more Tuesday, he knew there would be trouble because the only man we are believing now is Chief Agbekoya. After our Tuesday, something will happen in this nation. After our Tuesday. So they should pray and do everything for the money to come out. Because all these things, everything that happened yesterday in that meeting, I didn't believe anyone. In as far as that, I would not talk. Forget it. Pastor Ken, who is trying to align Bondo Oda and the rest, yet is fighting for trillion for himself. How can a, a good leader should think of the people first? Solomon never fight for himself. Say, Lord, the wisdom to lead these great people. God said, you did not even think of yourself. Not even the life of your enemy, but the wisdom to lead my people. For this reason, I will give you wisdom and I will give you words. Such that no king has ever had, and there will be no king after you that will have such. Because of the people. But Apostle Ken doesn't have the people at heart. And lastly, before I round up, I pity those who are in the church of Apostle Ken. I don't know that church, whether that's a church, you want, you want it. I pity them because I wonder what that man will be giving to them. You only give what you have. When you read the book of Timothy, Apostle Paul was admonishing Timothy, Timothy, my son, tear up the gift that was placed on you through the laying hand of the presbyteria. Who are the presbyteria? The men of God. They have, they carry something. They are anointed. They have the gift of the Holy Ghost, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And when they lay hand upon the member, they contact gift. In other words, what you have is what you give. How can people see beyond that this liar? Each time they lay hand on them, they contact spirit of lie, demons. Ah, I pity the member anyway. Or maybe some are there because of the lie that the grant is coming. But at the same time, it's contaminating them. Because a leader should be honest. A leader should be truthful. We respect if Agbakoya that is not a pastor because he's trying to be honest to the masses and he has feeling for the masses. Anyone that has feeling for the masses, I love him. Even admire that so many are condemning today. He has heart for the masses. He has feeling for the masses. He has passion for the masses. Not a pastor can never think that the masses are dying this day. day. I see that there is nothing Apostle Ken put hand that ever worked. Right from Sam down to Tepico. 
nothing he put on that ever there is a problem with that man always story 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 we are tired for story we are tired for story apostle ken came to grand community with empty he just come with come empty poor he's supposed to be someone who is in position to feel for the mercy because he has tested poverty but apostle ken does he have only dare to come and swallow money in his tummy in his belly that is all you see when you look at him every day look at his belly you know that he's not hungry so let's leave that side but what i'm saying masses stink reason with this voice note and let's come together after on tuesday anywhere a pan go past here make it pass and here masses let nobody silent you keep it silent does not bring disbursement Ajama Meshi told us, let everyone just silent for one week. 47. It's 72 hours the disbursement will start. We keep silence since that time. All these are just to tide your mouth and make sure that things keep going wrong. Let's scatter the gang community. If there is no money, let us know. If you don't scatter this thing, let everybody rest. Everybody find their way. That is my take. Good morning.